Cows, a name and an invitation to get afloat and sail, where youth responded this year more than ever before. Cows Regatta has been held since the birth of the Royal Yacht Squadron in 1812, war years accepted. Now it has become the mecca of the young of both sexes. Cows was first a fortress built by Henry VIII. It is no longer the preserve of kings, dukes and millionaires. The experience, talking to the youngsters, don't dwell on the past. They talk of the joys of sailing, a bond between generations. And when a man like Chichester can sail single-handed round the world, no wonder the sea and sail beckon to youth. The important event of this day was to be the Nab Tower race for Class 1 cruisers. In that, only expert yachtsmen were engaged. But Cow 67 is for everybody to enjoy, particularly the young people who'll be the experts of tomorrow. Yacht Britannia, always a splendid sight at anchor off cows, and a sign that the Duke of Edinburgh is at the regatta. A further link between the royal family and the thousands of young yachtsmen learning the way of the sea. At the helm of the Duke's yacht Cowslip was that doyen of cows yachtsmen, Upper Fox. Conditions were moderately good for the Class 1 cruisers contesting the Sir Walton Preston Challenge Cup. Although the race only carried a prize of 18 pounds, here the glory of sailing and the honour of winning are all that really count. Rough water made rounding the boy a challenge to good seamanship. What better sight than billowing spinnakers? And this was the day for them. Cows has a continuity, for it is here that men who've grown up in sailing pass on the ways of the sea to those who follow them. Small wonder that this year, youth responded more than ever before. <laughs> <laughs>